your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, a lot of clouds this evening. So far, no rain yet, but on Doppler radar, seeing some out to our west. That will arrive during the overnight while most of us are sleeping. A lot of it should be gone by tomorrow morning. But we're going to keep the cloud cover, and the net result will be temperatures running a cooler than average for at least one more day tomorrow before summer kicks in starting Wednesday. Mostly cloudy in Providence, good visibility, no showers yet. Do expect a little fog overnight as well. So here's the deal. Well, for one, we all know. Uh, how wet it has been for July. F over five inches of rain so far for the month. So to date, that is four inches above average. Uh, very wet. Fortunately, I don't see a lot of widespread soaking rainstorms, you know, where it's just raining all day. Now, an, an overnight shower to, uh, over tonight and perhaps spilling over into tomorrow morning, an isolated shower. I just feel as though a better part of Tuesday is dry and cool under mainly cloudy skies and really not much in the way of precipitation. And then summer kicking in starting Wednesday. We've got a very warm three day stretch, a little bit for Wednesday, more so uh, Thursday and Friday. Both those days may actually be borderline hot and more in the way of sunshine, too. So something to look forward to. In the meantime, you see the cloud cover overhead and on the left hand side of your screen, right there, the leading edge of some showers that'll be working in during the overnight hours. This is along a stationary front, this alternating red and blue line. And which side of the front you're on dictates, you know, how warm or cool you are. So on the northern part of the front, it's more of an east-northeasterly wind. That's not a great wind direction. It brings in cooler temperatures. On the other side of the front, there's more of a warmer southwest wind. And it will be on the cool side of the front for one more day. So this front represents the leading edge of summertime air across the mid-Atlantic. It stays here for one more day and then arriving on Wednesday afternoon through Thursday and Friday. Forecast this evening and overnight cloudy skies with a passing shower coming through. Here we are tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., starting in the mid 60s. A lot of clouds around. I think more clouds than sunshine for tomorrow afternoon. The net result will be temperatures probably not much higher than the mid 70s. We should be 83 this time of year. And then here we are tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night, mainly cloudy skies as temperatures fall back into the upper 60s. So don't look for any downpours or widespread soaking rain tomorrow morning, but a passing shower can't be ruled out under mainly cloudy skies. And then during the afternoon, generally low to mid 70s, running about 5 to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Again, wouldn't rule out an isolated shower. Just feel as though a better part of the day is rain free. So if you earn living working outdoors. It's not too bad. It's actually comfortable. It's not hot or humid yet. Temperatures are in the 70s that the heat will start to build or the warm temperatures will start to build mid to late week. Northeast breeze on the bay tomorrow. Uh, visibility uh, reduced in the morning and some fog. Not a great beach day. It's cool. It's mainly cloudy. Though better beach weather Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. want to stress that on Wednesday any thunderstorms will probably wait until near sunset which means most of the daylight hours of Wednesday is actually dry. Look at Thursday and Friday. Summertime, sunshine, very warm to hot. Temperatures in the upper 80s. Shower chances start to increase uh, over the weekend, more so on Sunday. Uh, partly sunny skies on Sunday with a high temperature at around uh, 82. So, you know, kind of a so so day tomorrow, but starting to kick in with summer, Wednesday, Thursday, and into uh, Friday. And again, just a passing shower tomorrow, not much rain. We certainly don't need it. You know? <laughs> Good news. All right, Tony, thanks.